Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am back with another monthly favorites and this time it's for the month of August. really consistent with these videos so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button so you guys are notified every time I do post another monthly favorites video so for today as usual I have the kind of the same categories jewelry I actually have one clothing item I also have some beauty products this time I do not have hair products just because I did an entire dedicated hair product video called my favorite and must-haves for verb so you guys can check that out over there I'll leave kind of like a picture here for you guys to see what it looks like but it should be the video right before this but basically today I'm gonna just start off with some of the things that I'm wearing that is currently on my body because I feel like that makes the most sense so I'm gonna start off with jewelry as you guys know I try to do one majority jewelry item at least for every single month so this time I actually have two and once again these are two that were already on my wish list if you guys watch my majority video so the two items that I got from my wish list and now I can verify how much I love it the first this one is the boyfriend chain necklace so it's this one that I'm wearing right here and what I love about it is number one it is solid gold so it is another thing that I do not have to take off and second because it's solid gold I feel like it's a little bit more dainty so it looks better you know for every day it's not a statement -y. this is what it looks like sorry if it's like red because I've just been pressing up on it but this is what it looks like and what's also really great about it is you can adjust the length so as you guys can see in this case I did it a little bit shorter actually this kind of looks good too but anyway I did it a little bit shorter but if you pull it back and if I want it a little bit longer I can do that as well but as you guys know I love wearing my initial necklace so I did it a little bit shorter so there's more of a layering thing going on but if you want to wear it on its own it also looks really good on its own you can even put it down a little bit shorter so that's kind of what it looks like and the second item that I got from a jury is their anklet and it is also solid gold so I'm not gonna show you because it's like literally on my ankle right now so I'm just gonna show you a picture on the side but basically the anklet is so dainty and I feel like you know summer is kind of over but I feel like it's still kind of warm so it's the perfect time to get it because this is pretty much when you show your ankles well at least the most I don't know like I don't really show my ankles in the winter. Actually, sometimes I do. But anyway, not the point. The point is there's a higher chance of showing your ankles in the summer. So I highly recommend take this time with like a few months left to get an anklet because it's so cute and so dainty. But anyway, that's pretty much the Majuri favorite. The second category is actually this watch right here. And I got this from Michael Kors. I think I actually already showed you guys in the vlog, but I'm just gonna take it off and show you what it looks like up close. So this is their limited edition summer watch and I just personally first of all love the color as you guys can see it kind of matches my nails and also my favorite color but also I just think that the jewels inside is so super pretty and just really cute and even though the watch face is larger than I thought I've actually gotten really used to it and I actually really like it like on my hand I feel like I really like the look of this I don't know if you guys agree but I just like really really love it and it's just perfect for every day in my opinion like I've been wearing it every day while I'm here it's actually just a really cute statement piece I just really love the color so the next item I want to share are my Ray-Ban sunglasses I actually have gotten a lot of of comments about which sunglasses these are I don't know what they're called so I'll probably just leave a name but this is what the sunglasses look like and I've been wearing them non-stop this summer and I don't think it's limited to summertime I think that like this style is honestly <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on to show you I honestly think this style is great for even like the fall winter it's just such a great neutral shade it has gold hardware it's black it's a little bit rounder so I don't know I think it looks really good with my face I also have I feel like a small smaller head so this works really well it also fits on my flat Asian nose really well so I really like it I actually have the other Ray-Ban glasses in like the octagon shape but the color of that one that I have is like the blue shiny one so I find myself pulling this one a little bit more just because it's a little bit more neutral but both shapes I feel like are really great 
great so I would recommend either shape but I would definitely recommend going with the darker hardware more than the other colors just so you get more use out of it so the next item that I'm also wearing is this lip color right here and I started realizing that I should probably just mention my lip colors on camera because it's always the most asked question in every single one of my videos there's always a comment asking about which lip color I didn't also realize that I try different lipsticks every video so it kind of also made me aware that it's not the same lipstick every time so I'm just gonna call it out before I forget because sometimes I'll forget which lipstick I put on or like what color it is if it's really similar so this one that I have on here is the Armani lip maestro liquid lipstick so this is what it looks like and you guys should know this product because I've spoken about this exact product before just not the same color so today I'm more telling you guys about the color but as you guys know this liquid lipstick is pretty much like I would say on the top of my list of my favorite liquid lipsticks this one and I would say the bare mineral ones I'm starting to like the Armani liquid lipstick a little bit more just because it's so lightweight super hydrating and very easy to apply and all of their colors that I've tried so far actually I've only tried two but the two colors I've tried so far are both really amazing this one here is a lighter color so the other one that I have is in color 207 and it's like a darker deeper red and I wore it for my April favorites video and you guys all asked about it as well this one is 522 and this one is more of like a pinky shade so I feel like the darker lip shade is more like a bolder color goes really great if you're wearing darker colors but this one is great for like summertime and just like as you guys can see my outfit today is a little bit lighter so I feel like this color goes well with that I think they actually just released some more colors that you guys can check out but definitely doesn't matter what color you choose this liquid lipstick is amazing and if you guys like the ones that are on my face I have 207 and this one is 522 I'm just gonna continue on with the beauty products but the next item that I wanted to share with you guys is a face lotion or like a face cream the one that I am gonna show you guys is by Neostrata and this one is part of their correct line so this is the Hydra filling cream this is what the packaging looks like I'm sorry if it's a little bit dirty because I do use it every morning and night so like I said my skincare routine right now is a little bit different this is my first time using this product and honestly it is really hydrating like when it says hydra filling cream like I'm telling you this is really hydrating just to show you guys this is how much I have used already as you guys can see the product is already half done when I put on this product on my face I feel like this really extensively hydrates my face to the point that I'll actually rub the excess on my legs because my legs get really really dry so I really recommend it I'm gonna also kind of give you guys a little swatch on my hand this is what it looks like and as you guys can see it's more of like a jelly consistency so it is a little bit thicker but I really really like it and I kind of put on a thick layer which is why I kind of use it aggressively for me since I have such dry skin it works really really well on my face and if you guys don't know I'm actually a huge fan of Neostrata just because they're very very science and dermatologically focus so for this line if you guys are not familiar with Neostrata I think you can buy at Shoppers Drug Mart and if you're in the States I'm not exactly sure but I will leave some links down below but if you're Canadian you cannot get this at Sephora I think you have to get it at Shoppers so I will leave a link down below for that as well this one's been really hydrating and I really like it so the next product I want to share this is on behalf of both me and my mom because my mom has been stealing this product from me ever since I got home and I'm running out because she uses it guys every day like I use it three to four times a week max and that's me being like really conservative with it this woman uses it every morning every morning guys right before work she puts this on for 10 minutes she washes it off so this is why I kind of wanted to include this in the video because I've never seen my mom being so passionate about one product before so the product that I'm about to share with you is the Caudalie instant detox mask and this is what it looks like and I actually don't remember if I've shared this product before have I shared it if you guys are frequent watchers can you please let me know if I have shared this product it's like kind of 
starting to look familiar to me right now but anyway like I said my mom is kind of the motivation as to why I'm sharing it today because like I said she uses it every day and I've been really training my mom to take more care of her skin because she didn't used to put on sunscreen before she didn't really have like a full-on skincare routine and she was always like very unhappy with her skin and she feels like a lot of the pollutants in the air it like causes her skin to either have like discoloration or just like it's not as bright so she's been using this every morning and she's noticed a huge difference so she really likes it I mean obviously I've noticed a difference but I don't use it every day but she's like very 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 much in love with this product so please thank her because she's the reason why this product is included this is what it looks like and by the way I just want to kind of have a disclaimer right now so if you do buy this product you're not shocked basically this is not one of those products where you put on your face and you peel it off you put it on your face it'll dry and it looks like pinkish it'll dry a lighter pink and in order to remove it you have to use like warmer water and kind of like pat it on your skin and letting it rub off so it's not one of those drying and peeling ones so just an FYI if you are planning on getting the product and you don't know how to use it this is how you use it the last beauty product that I want to share with you I have to have like a really quick disclaimer that this is only a half favorite because unfortunately there is only one product of this kind that I have found so I don't really have much of a choice because I want to like the product but in terms of the cost it is just so not worth it however I just can't find anything else so I'm just like this is the only thing that matches what I'm trying to look for but it's basically the super goop resetting powder and it's in SPF 45 if you guys don't know what this is it's pretty much well like a setting powder that has sunscreen on it and I've been looking for something like this for a really long time because as you guys know you're supposed why well, I, I don't know if you know you are supposed to put and reapply sunscreen every few hours so when you have makeup on it is really awkward to put on liquid sunscreen on your face two or three hours later so the only thing that makes sense and also works as a hybrid is if you can have like a setting powder to you know kind of touch up your makeup and if it has SPF on it so unfortunately this is the only product that I was able to find in the market and I'm not saying that this is a bad product I'm just saying that it is a very expensive product and there actually are like things that it could improve on so the first thing is that when I got this product it was already like this much empty and I just got the product so the product itself is I think like $45 Canadian which is not cheap and then on top of that it's really disappointing when you turn the product over you see that it's already pretty much empty and you're like okay then why am I paying $45 and then the second thing is that the brush it's actually very easy to use however I don't know I just feel like the powder comes out a little bit too aggressively like I think a better solution to this product might be either like a pressed powder or if the product comes a little bit not as aggressive because sometimes when I put it on my face it'll kind of look like I have too much white or like I look like a ghost and I really have to blend it out like I can't even use this you know without looking into a mirror or having someone change check that I don't just have like white powder all over my face so like I said I'm not like a fan of the way they've designed it and the pricing but the concept of this product is there so that's why it's a half favorite I don't know if I'm selling this product to you at all <laughs> but it's been helpful in a sense that I've been able to reapply sunscreen on my face throughout the day so the last product that I have for you guys is a clothing item this is my one and only clothing item just because I don't know if any of the other ones that I have that are favorites you guys can find it anymore so I'm just gonna share this one piece but it is the Aritzia denim shorts I've actually gotten a lot of questions on it when I posted it on Instagram so that's why I decided to share it I'll also show you a picture of me wearing it on Instagram and if you don't already follow me please follow me but basically these are the Aritzia denim form shorts and they're in the style the ex-boyfriend short and also guys I lost like three sizes ever since I intermittent fasted but I think I'm actually really a 24 but because this is like the ex-boyfriend and the boyfriend slash ex-boyfriend series are always like a little bit baggier so that's why I think I was able to go down to even like a 23 like size even one more down I think any other regular size jeans I think I only really lost two sizes so but you know I just like to brag that I lost three sizes because I worked hard for this weight loss okay guys this didn't 
happen overnight and also ex-boyfriend how relevant is that right now to me but anyway I really like these shorts and I don't know if you guys are a fan of this but I'm a huge fan I love when the jean bottoms are actually all these buttons rather than the zipper I don't know if this is like controversial but I actually really like that I think it makes it more comfortable to wear to be honest with you so this style is really really cute I really recommend checking it out it's one of the only denim shorts that I'll actually like so definitely check that out also like I said this is the last item that I'm sharing but if you guys are looking for hair product recommendations I have some really really good ones in the verb hair video so definitely go check that out right now there's some really good recommendations in there that's pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed today's monthly favorites and I will see you guys in the next video bye